So we are running the reaction between copper 2 chloride, dihydrate, and aluminum wire. There goes the solid copper 2 chloride into the test tube. And we've got our aluminum wire, plain old over here. There's the before. You put the copper 2, or the, sorry, the aluminum wire in there. And you can start to see that the copper metal is forming on the aluminum wire. That nice pretty blue color of the copper 2 chloride is getting lighter and lighter. We're going to know that it's gone to completion once that blue color is totally gone. Um, and then we'll measure the copper on the other end. And see okay, so now we've got the nice clear color going on. So now what they'll do is they'll take that out, they'll scrape the copper into the evaporating dish, and then they will mask that to get the actual solution. You scrape the copper off the aluminum wire. And then we're going to we mask the evaporating dish before. We're going to mask it after with the copper. And then the difference between those two numbers is going to give us our actual yield of copper. We also mask the aluminum wire before. We're going to mask it after, and that will give us the actual amount of aluminum that reacted.